this time I'm going to show you where to find the best chilaquiles ever in Puerto Vallarta. I, I want to be with my mom. Um, actually, it was um, her idea <laughs> to go to uh, the municipal flea market here in Puerto Vallarta. This is the place where you can find, but put attention where we're going to stay, what is the little restaurants that we're gonna choose for or to get the best uh, chilaquiles here in Puerto Vallarta. This is a very humble place, but very tasty. This place has a lot of uh, customers around here. Obviously, the customers normally is the workers, the local people There is um, working around uh, the municipal flea market. Uh, flea market sorry and it's so delicious and uh, you can uh, ask the way that you want your um, eggs on the chilaquiles or the way that you want your chilaquiles if you are uh, like not like so spicy or if you like so hot the chilaquiles uh, you're gonna ask how we, uh, how is um how, how to cook uh, to the cookers and it's amazing the flavor so this is the place uh, join us well this is the place is desayunos elia or uh, the, literally the translation is uh, elia's uh, breakfast um, re little restaurant and it's amazing this is like an update about these restaurants because I have one video talking about these restaurants and that time was my mom with me and when one of my uncle that it was visiting here from uh, the Mexico City and it's next to the Guale River so it's so fresh it's so fresh believe me So there is no menu here. So well, it's it's posted on the wall. As you can see, it's the uh, orange um, paper over there on the wall, and you you can ask. Obviously, the video is about chilaquiles. So the main dish here is chilaquiles, but there is a lot a lot of um, kind of other different kind of food or antojitos mexicanos or Mexican snacks. So you can ask like sopes, but be careful because the sopes are big. My mom um, did the mistake to ask for a medium sope and it was massive. Okay, <laughs> so ask for the for the size, for the small size and um, ask for a quesadilla or I think it was another kind of, um, uh, it's kind of a quesadilla, ah, it's a, a empanada and it was big and the prices are so cheap this is um this um little restaurants uh or desayunador in spanish it's more for the local people but every everyone uh, can visit the place and enjoy the food here so you can see uh posted on the wall the menu or you can ask or you can uh, i don't know another thing or problem that you're gonna find here is they don't speak english so learn spanish a little bit of spanish or just put um your um, iphone or smartphone to work and you don't know get some app to translate because they don't uh, these ladies uh, they don't speak english but if you i don't know make a city tour with me I can help you with the translation and we're gonna have a nice uh, breakfast here okay well I'm so sorry <laughs> if you are like wanted to eat this delicious chilaquil it was so yummy uh, but let me tell you and give you a warning about the salsas the red one is hot and the green one uh, it's 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 soft it's it's not hot the green one but be careful with this red one but it's so tasty so spicy uh full of flavor i mean it's delicious just put a little bit just a little bit drops and enjoy it 
And I was so hungry, I was starving, so it's kind of rude in our culture uh, to start eating if um, your mom or your mate has not um, his food. So, but my mom understands so you can you can start it without me, so I can I can wait. <laughs> but it's kind of rude. Uh, you need to wait for others, you know. But uh, it's okay. And I, I was trying this dish, and it's amazing. It's amazing the flavor. Never disappoint me. So at this point, you must um, drool in for <laughs> the food here, I guess. But it was amazing the flavor. So my mom asked for the sope, it's almost the size of the big dish. You can see the plate is almost the size of the plate. And it looks like it's only like veggies, but not. It's like um, inside is chicken and it's um, the, this is the, the sope. Uh, you can ask with um, sour cream and um, uh, cheese, like white cheese. Uh, this is not the American cheese or the white people cheese you know what when, when you go to the taco bell you put cheddar and i don't know other kind of cheeses no here is like a dry cheese we use it a lot for the fried beans and it's so tasty believe me and what is something that i love it about to eat here in this kind of restaurant these little restaurants you can meet people uh, we meet this lady from Michoacan and my wife is from Michoacan so we have something in common <laughs> and we start the you know chatting on the table and uh, when you're eating or when you're waiting for your food it's like it's all about share the Mexican food the Mexican culture begins on our food and it's about to make more friends and to chatting with um, unknown people non person people are so friendly as you know and it's amazing you know it's the combination of the food the people the traditions that you're gonna enjoy to uh, visit in these kind of places the food believe me it's so so yummy and the the best is the price i spent for these um chilaquiles and the glass the big glass is one liter of fresh water uh, I only spent 110 pesos, Mexican pesos, just for that. And my mom asked for the sope and the empanada. Let me show you the empanada. The empanada is like a quesadilla, but it's, it's closed. It's like a seal, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's fried and it's like a sope, bend and sope, with cheese and meat inside or chicken or whatever you want. But the sope was so big, uh, even the medium size, so for my mom was uh, too much. And we take um, to go the empanada, but I asked for the consomme with everything. You can see Elia putting uh, in a glass, um, plastic glass, uh, some sour cream and some cheese inside. And the consomme, it's uh, like a broad chicken broth with tomato sauce, and it's so hot, so be careful. But you must to try this consomme. You can ask for a flauta. It's a rolling crispy taco, a flauta. You know the flautas? Well, I'm gonna show you in another video what is the flauta. And this is so tasty. It's so yummy, this. And... Um, you can put the, 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 the flauta inside and it's so amazing, it's so tasty. I want to try that because I always um, watch my mom to eat the flautas with that uh, consomme and this is amazing. This is the first time that I tried that. It's unbelievable. I know, I live here and, and, and I'm take my breakfast here in this restaurant a lot of times and never try this. This is my very first time and it was amazing. Be careful, it's hot if you're gonna order this consomme, but it's so tasty, it's so tasty. I think it's better with the flautas. I don't get the flautas because it was enough with my chilaquiles, but I put in uh, a little bit on my chilaquiles and it was so tasty.
Okay, so time to pay the amount of money for my my part was 110 pesos that includes the chilaquiles, that includes the consomme. I think it was free because they don't charge me for the consomme. <laughs> And um, uh, and the water and for my mom it was another 110. I think was the same price. And this is the menu here. You can check the prices. All Mexican pesos, of course. Um, if you want dollars, just do the math. Is uh, 18 pesos or 19 pesos right now? You know the dollars change a lot. So around 220 pesos plus the tip. You can tip uh, 10%, 50%, whatever you want. Yes, tip. Uh, and they don't accept plastic, of course, only cash here. And after that, we can uh, do the shopping here. My mom find uh, these um, very special glasses and, and a bowl, something like that, for the water. And it's like um, complete their... Uh, the, the hair collections for, for the glasses well now you know where to get the best chilaquiles here in puerto Vallarta and do shopping after the your breakfast okay so that's all for now thank you very much don't forget to subscribe and activate all notifications to get the latest news don't forget to visit my website puerto Vallarta trip .com to book a tour with me a private tour a catamaran wherever you need uh, tours activities and see you next time bye bye